seven tallest monuments or statues in Africa. Hello, Explorers! Welcome to another exciting video presented to you by the Explorer. In this video, we shall take you around the continent to show you the seven tallest monuments or statues in Africa. Amongst the numerous reasons brought forward by the tourists for visiting Africa are its many monuments and statues, which all tell a unique story about a particular event on the continent. Some of these monuments were constructed to fit the aesthetics of the region, others to be visible enough for those exotic Instagram pictures we see on the gram, but some were constructed just to prove a point. No matter the point, from the Lowenmensch figurine and the Venus of Holmfels, which are thought to be the oldest confirmed statuettes in the world, to the thousands of monuments and statues scattered around the world, these objects are meant to serve not only as beauty but also symbols of hope. Hence, we shall look at the tallest of these masterpieces in Africa. If you are new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Number 7. Jesus the Greatest, Nigeria, 8.53 meters. Standing at 8.53 meters, Jesus the Greatest statue is the seventh tallest monument or statue in Africa. Jesus the Greatest is a statue of Jesus Christ located in Abaja village in Imo State, Nigeria. Considered Africa's largest statue of Jesus and the fifth tallest statue on the African continent. Jesus the Greatest is not the tallest statue of Jesus in the world, as the Jesus Buntu Burake in Indonesia is 120 feet taller. The 8.53 meter tall statue weighs 40 tons and stands barefoot with both arms outstretched. Obina Onuha, a 43 year old businessman, commissioned the building of the statue in 2013. He explained that he had dreamt in 1997 to build a giant statue of Jesus. The magnificent sculpture, which was carved in white marble, was commissioned in 2014 and completed in 2016 by a Chinese company. Mass was held at St. Aloysius Catholic Church, Abaja, with the presiding of the Bishop of Orlu Catholic Diocese, Rev. Augustine Okwoma, with hundreds of Roman Catholic priests and worshippers, and the unveiling of the statue was held on New Year's Day. Number 6. Nelson Mandela Statue, South Africa, 8.84 meters. The Nelson Mandela statue was created by South African sculptors Andre Prince Lowe and Rohan Jansi Van Vuren. The 9 meter bronze sculpture on the Union Building's grounds, Pretoria Gauteng, of former president of South Africa and anti apartheid activist Nelson Mandela, is the sixth tallest monument or statue on the continent and the tallest statue of Madiba in the world. The statue was unveiled on the Day of Reconciliation, 16 December 2013, bringing the official mourning period of 10 days to a close, after Mandela had died on 5 December. The engineering work of 3.5 tone statue was carried out by the Knight Brothers at Sculpture Casting Services Foundry in Cape Town. The legs and arms were cast in Nottingham Road, KwaZulu-Natal. The statue was inaugurated by then President of South Africa, Jacob Zuma, who in his speech said, You will notice that in all the statues that have been made of Madiba, he is raising his fist and at times stretching it. That derives from the slogan of the ANC, this one is different from many. He is stretching out his hands, he is embracing the whole nation. You shouldn't say this is not Madiba because we know him with his one hand raised. The statue is located in front of the buildings on the spot that used to belong to the statue of JBM Herzog, who was the Prime Minister of South Africa from 1924 to 1939. The statue was taken down on 22nd November 2013 and moved to a different location in the grounds. Number 5. Ramses II Statue, Egypt, 11 meters. The black granite statue of Ramses II is a 3,200-year-old statue, 
which depicts the third pharaoh of the 19th dynasty of Egypt, Ramses II. Damaged during an earthquake in the 4th century, the statue was fully restored since its 1958 to 1960 discoveries by an archaeological team led by Mohammed Abdul Qadar when it was found in 58 pieces. The statue, which depicts Ramses II standing, was first discovered in 1820 by Giovanni Battista Caviglia at the Great Temple of Ta near Memphis, Egypt. In 1955, the Egyptian Prime Minister Gamal Abdel Nasser moved to Red Granite its a tweet-toned statue to the large Bab al-Hadid Square in Cairo outside Cairo's main railway station, which was eventually renamed Ramses Square. There, the statue was restored to its full height of 11 meters and erected on a 3-meter pedestal at the edge of a fountain stabilized by iron bars inside the body. Over time, Ramses Square turned out to be an unsuitable location as the statue was exposed to corrosive pollution and constant vibration from traffic and subways. The Egyptian government decided to relocate it to a more appropriate location in 2006. At a temporary site at the Giza Plateau, it underwent restoration before being moved to the Grand Egyptian Museum in Giza in 2018, using a highly criticized expensive method and technology. Number 4. Moremi Statue of Liberty, Nigeria, 12.8 meters. Standing at 12.8 meters in Ileife, Nigeria, Moremi Statue is the tallest statue in Nigeria and fourth tallest in Africa. The statue was indigenously constructed by a team of about 200 Nigerian youths with materials sourced locally from 774 local government areas in Nigeria. Moremi Ajasaro was a legendary Yoruba queen and folk heroine in the Yoruba land region of present-day southwestern Nigeria, who is fabled to have assisted in the liberation of the Yoruba kingdom of Ife from the neighboring Ugbo kingdom. Moremi was married to Aranmiyan, the son of Odudua, the first king of Ife. Moremi was a very brave and beautiful woman who, in order to deal with the problem facing her people, pledged a great sacrifice to the spirit of the river Esimirin, so that she could discover the strength of her nation's enemies. As a result of her great sacrifice, the Yorubas were able to subsequently defeat their enemy in battle, after which she went to the Esimirin River to fulfill her pledge of her only son, Olurogbo, who the river demanded. The offering of Olorogbo to the river god grieved not only Moremi, but the whole kingdom of Ife. The Yoruba people consoled Moremi by offering to be her eternal children, a promise kept until today. Number 3. Colossi of Menon, Egypt, 18 meters. The Colossi of Menmon are two massive stone statues of the pharaoh Amenhotep III who reigned in Egypt during the 18th dynasty. Each statue stands about 18 meters high, making them the third tallest statue in Africa and resembles Amenhotep III himself. They are located on the West Bank, directly across the Nile from Thebes. Since 1350 BCE, they have stood in the Theban necropolis, located west of the river Nile from the modern city of Luxor. The twin statues depict Amenhotep III in a seated position, his hands resting on his knees and his gaze facing eastwards towards the river. Two shorter figures are carved into the front throne alongside his legs. These are his wife Tia and mother Mutemwia. The side panels depict the Nile god Happy. The statues are made from blocks of quartzite sandstone which was carried at El Gabal El Hama near modern-day Cairo and transported 675 kilometers overland to Thebes, today's Luxor. Including the stone platforms on which they stand themselves about 4 meters, the Colossi reach a towering 18 meters in height and weigh an estimated 720 tons each. Although the figures are mostly damaged, 
The two figures which are about 15 meters apart are believed to have been identical to each other, although inscriptions and minor art may have varied. Number 2. The Great Sphinx of Giza, Egypt, 20 meters The Great Sphinx of Giza is the second tallest statue in Africa. The statue is an immense stone sculpture of a creature with the body of a lion and the head of a human. It still remains the largest structure created from a single piece of stone. The mythical creature facing directly from west to east stands on the Giza Plateau on the west bank of the Nile in Giza, Egypt. The face of the Sphinx appears to represent the pharaoh Khafre. Cut from the bedrock, the original shape of the Sphinx has been restored with layers of limestone blocks. The greatest monumental sculpture in the ancient world, it is carved out of a single ridge of limestone, measuring 73 meters long from paw to tail, 20 meters high from base to the top of the head, and 19 meters wide at its rare haunches. It is the oldest known monumental sculpture in Egypt and one of the most recognizable statues in the world. The archaeological evidence suggests that it was created by ancient Egyptians of the Old Kingdom during the reign of Khafre around 2558 to 2532 BC. Number 1. African Renaissance Monument, Senegal, 52 meters. The African Renaissance Monument is a 52 meter tall copper statue located on top of one of the twin hills known as Colin de Mamel, outside Dakar, Senegal. Built overlooking the Atlantic Ocean, in the Ulkam suburb, the statue was designed by the Senegalese architect Pierre Goudiabi, after an idea presented by President Abdoulaye Wade and built by Mansoude Overseas Project, a company from North Korea. Site preparation on top of the 100-meter-high hill began in 2006, and construction of the bronze statue began in 2008. Originally scheduled for completion in December 2009, delays stretched into early 2010, and formal dedication occurred on 4th April 2010, Senegal's National Day, commemorating the 50th anniversary of the country's independence from France. It is the tallest statue in Africa, and the project attracted significant criticism due to its expense. Thousands of people protested against all the failures of President Wade's regime, the least of which is this horrible statue on the city streets beforehand, with riot police deployed to maintain control. The $27 million monument has been highly criticized for more than its expenses, including morality, the quality, and Wade's property claims. There you have it, the explorers. Those were the seven tallest monuments or statues in Africa. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.